We all have to be able to say that if we are believers. We all have to be able to say we did everything that we could and that includes not rewarding genocide. I'll tell you a second thing. If, if you elect whoever this Labour candidate is, I've never seen them, heard of them, heard from them. Neither of you, and neither will you. If Labour win this seat on Thursday, nobody will notice. Nothing will change. Everything will remain the same. That's what we've got to think of. I would like to just bring this meeting to an end because I think it's near enough uh, nine o'clock, but I have got a few things that I wanted to say to the locals in the area. And you all know that there was a shooting that took place about nine days ago at Bravington Road, which is just outside of Harrow Road. There's a proper postcode war that's taking place at the moment between the Mozart estate and the people in Kilburn. And I have made it a pledge of mine that I shall make the best effort possible to try and bring peace between these two estates. My, my first email, should I be voted in, will be sent to the police. And what I want is community leaders to come forward and meet me, not this, the 21st of September, because I've got to be at a national uh, committee meeting for my party, but the 27th or 28th of Saturday, I would love to have people here come along and take part with me in a head-to-head -head conversation in a circle and say, what can we do to help? And the first email, I promise you, will be going to the Metropolitan Police and asking them, how can I, as the councillor for this ward, help bring about the violence that's happening down to a level where it doesn't make people like a friend of mine called Nate, who's a 40-year-old black man, right? He looks like a proper geezer. When his mother is telling him, Nate, I don't want you to go to the road after nine o'clock. I want you home. And he's a big businessman, grown up. He ain't a kid. He's a 40-year-old, knows the world and knows what's around him. But his mum is that worried about him that she's saying, please, son, I beg of you, don't be in the streets after nine o'clock. Because you could be the next guy that's going to get shot because you were seen talking to someone that potentially could be a target of Mozart or Kilburn. And you have nothing to do with nothing. And yet, you're going to get targeted because you didn't know that that person's involved in X, Y, and Z. So, please, get me elected and see what happens. But I really want the first meeting we have here, which will be the 28th, I believe, yeah? I want as many people in here as possible. I'm hiring this call out, and I want people to come along, and, let, and I want the community here. What yeah? Time? What time? 11 o'clock, Saturday. Yeah, I am hiring this hall, and I, so long as it, the, the, the wet community tell me it doesn't conflict with anything, I will definitely be holding my first surgery here, and the first thing we're going to talk about is what we can do about stopping Westminster being the stabbing capital of London and the shooting capital of London. We are the highest, we are literally the highest what's it called, number of shootings and, uh, and stabbings in the whole of London. London, in com combination with Croydon, Lewisham and everywhere else, between like the top 10, we outmass every other city in London, in the, in the country. We are literally the worst one. So if I can help start that with you, I, would, I think that will be the most noble thing I can do to bring about peace to our streets. Because, as George has said before, and I'm going to repeat, when one family member shoots someone and kills them, that's two poor families, done. One family is going to be taking that kid to the grave, the other one is going to be taking that kid to prison, 
and his life is gone. So two poor families suffer the consequences and there really is no need for it. Okay? So please put the message out there. First thing, on the agenda for us as Howard Road Ward is get together and let's have this conversation, have the police involved and let's get this thing done. Okay? Thank you very much. Bravo. Thursday. Um, just before um, you guys disperse, it is obvious, but I just want to put it out there. Obviously, your vote counts. It's your vote that on that day or the day before, whenever you guys, that guys go out there to vote, it counts. But hopefully, I'm sincerely convinced that you're still here listening to everybody. You can genuinely put your efforts in and help this man come into office, not just by your own vote, but please use your social media handles, speak to your neighbours, your friends, your families, your brothers and sisters, on your Twitter handle, your Insta, your Facebook, whatever it is you have, this is your own contribution and your own effort to bring this gentleman into office and I would like to thank you to please put all your effort in, not just the physical vote, but please spread the word, it will really help. Bravo. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. See you Thursday. If anyone's got any questions about Lord of the Rings or anything, I can help out with those as well. Okay? Anyone? No? You two okay? You're the Lord of the Rings. There's two, there's two ladies over there. When I met them, I said uh, the joke about Aragorn, and they said you had me at Aragorn. So that's what it was. Lovely seeing you both. Sorry, just two minutes. Yeah. Is it a question? For anyone who's interested, well, we've had an exciting. For anyone who's interested, how did they become members? Well, we've had an extraordinary meeting here today in the Wedge Community Centre in the Harrow Road Ward, where on Thursday uh, there will be a local government by-election that we are determined to win. Our candidate, Paul Shafi, is going to be a very significant political figure in this country, in my opinion. And it turns out that this little ward is the center of the British political universe on Thursday. Because the very next day, Labour begin their annual conference. And we want to send them into that conference up, up, with the votes of the Harrow Road Ward ringing in their ears that people are not impressed by the first 60 days of Keir Starmer's so-called Labour government. So we're going to work for the people here locally. We're working to change our situation nationally and of course, always, we are working for peace and justice in the world, particularly in Gaza. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? Thank you all for coming. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I had a very quick observation in the form of a humor. Please consider to rephrasing when you said we are the bus. Because BBC will take a snapshot and say something bad about it. Don't please be very careful. Don't worry about it. Yes, yes, sir. One suggestion, please. You've done extremely well. We are very grateful. We are very supportive. And I sincerely hope, inshallah, you will win. But next time, this meeting should be just before Friday prayers so we can tell the brothers. You know what the problem is? I don't, I, I don't want to cause a problem. 